What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching y'all how to do the typing effect on CapCut. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this video. All right, so the first thing we're going to open up is Fonto. And we're gonna click on it and click plain images and choose the white one. You can change it any color you want to. Personally, I like to use this color and like make it a little lighter. Boom. And you'll click this button up here and click use and save. And we're going to save image. Now we're going to go to CapCut. You're going to open new project and choose the photo that we just had. And it should be like this. Now to make the for to change the format, you just scroll through these, go to format and put it on 16.9. And then it's going to look like this. And all you do is zoom the picture in just like that and boom. So once you get like this, you're going to go to text and type in what you want to type in. So we're going to type in typing effect. And then you can go to style and choose which one you want. Personally, I like this one. I like how this looks. So you're gonna choose that. And then once you do that, you're gonna scroll through all these and go to animation and scroll all the way to the end. And you're gonna choose type one. And you can change the duration, like how slow or fast it goes. Personally, I like to do it like right here, like not too fast, not too slow, right there. And then you can just spread it all the way to the end if you want, but you don't have to. So I'll probably cut it like right here. All right, so it should be like this. Now we're going to add our sound. And to get the sound, we got to go to YouTube, type in typing sound effect. And you just screen record anyone you want to screen record. I already have one, so I'm going to use the one I have, but you just go through these. I used this one right here, the all type in no talking. So you're going to go back. Once you screen record and save that, you're going to go to audio and extract it. And you're going to find the video you use, but I already have the sound. So I'm just going to go to the sound here and you find the sound right here. You then just put the sound over it. Make sure like, you know, the sound stops whenever the typing stops. So like you can change the volume. So it'll be like this. And you stop it where the typing stops. So like, and then you can just save it. And then you add background music and this is how it should look. 